Okay, yeah, so I'm Matt Hawkyard. I'm a research associate here at Oregon State University uh, out at the Hatfield Marine Science Center. Uh, I work in the Newport Aquaculture Lab, and uh, part, a lot, large majority of my work is focused on fin fish, both nu nutrition and disease. So I'm really interested in fin fish uh, aquaculture because uh, in the United States, you know, we have really great sustainable fisheries, uh, but most of those fisheries have reached their maximum sustainable yield. So uh, most of the seafood that we eat as Americans, uh, the vast majority of that are fin fish species. So to increase that domestic supply of fin fish to meet the demands of the future, uh, this is going to be a really important area for us to grow in uh, and create a sustainable aquaculture industry here in, domestically, uh, preferably here on the west coast as there's a lot of opportunity in the marine environment to do so. So I'm really focused on marine fin fish species and that kind of that aquaculture uh, those methods can be done both uh, onshore in what are called recirculating aquaculture systems. These are land-based tank uh, systems that can be uh, used to grow marine fish at a very high density. Uh, you can also do this offshore uh, in offshore aquaculture. These are big cages that can be done well offshore um, and therefore having a minimal impact on nearshore environments. And um, so these are emergent technologies, but to be able to support those t types of aquaculture, uh, it takes a, uh, a seed supply. So what we need is to get the fish through the, from egg, and these marine fish typically lay very, very small eggs, oftentimes around the size of a grain, grain of sand, a little bit bigger, but um, you can imagine these are among the smallest vertebrates on Earth. So this is a marine fish larvae here. This is a, it just happens to be a rock sole larvae. But uh, this one's probably around six millimeters in length, which is very, very short. Uh, you generally need, uh, you need to look at them under a microscope to observe them. And, um, and to get them through this early stage is really important uh, and really challenging because as I said, they're, they're very, very small. There's millions of them in a given batch of uh, young. And what we, are, what we need to do is keep them uh, both, keep the uh, environment in a, uh, healthy for them, so high water quality, those sorts of things, but also nutrition. They eat very, very small things, so they're nearly microscopic, and the things they eat are microscopic. And that makes it very challenging. And so I, what I do is actually work a lot in how do we feed these smallest fish to provide seed to support a domestic sustainable seafood industry. Uh, so I've done that through a couple ways. One is to actually look at how, what kind of zooplankton, these are the little microscopic organisms that the fish larvae eat, how do we actually improve the nutritional quality of these zooplankton? How do you grow them better? How do you maybe feed those animals to feed the fish? I know that's a little nuanced, but um, the other thing we've done is actually develop uh, some microparticles here in the laboratory. So that we, we call these complex particles. And so these are actually um, kind of designer fish feeds. And the important things about these is they're very good at retaining water soluble compounds. They can be tailored to meet a, a variety of different needs. Um, but one of the things we're using these complex particles for is evaluating their use for uh, oral uh, delivery of vaccines. Uh, so disease is also a big problem in, uh, in fin fish aquaculture. And so what we're hoping to do is um, uh, eliminate the need or at least complete, very much have a reduction on the use of antibiotics in marine uh, aquaculture by having uh, very economical and easy ways of delivering vaccines to uh, fin fish. So, um, so we're developing improved nutrition for the animals and also improved ways of dealing with uh, disease in fin fish aquaculture. And yeah, so um, hopefully, you know, our research goes well and we end up moving forward and moving the needle um, in a positive direction for having a domestic seafood uh, or domestic aquaculture um, fin fish industry.